In Galatians 4, 4 to 7, it says, But when the fullness of the time came, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, so that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons and daughters. Because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son or daughter, then an heir through God. And what are we heirs to? We are heirs to the kingdom. We are children of the Most High God. We are children of the King, and he calls us kings ourselves. Jesus, through what he did on the cross, became our Redeemer. And that word redeem means to, um, by payment um, of a price, to recover from the power of another. That's what Jesus did for us. He recovered us from the power of another. It means to rescue from loss. Our situation was nothing but loss. And he rescued us from that. And it means to improve opportunity. And I don't know about you, but going from being a nothing and a nobody to a child of the king is a definite improvement in opportunity. And that's where Jesus, through his actions on the cross and his resurrection, he came to make us children of the Most High God. He came to improve our situation. He came to purchase us so that we could become a part of that kingly royal line. And that is us. That is us now. And it's a way of thinking that just needs to shift. We are not down and out. We are not downtrod. We are not broken. We are not nothings and nobodies anymore. We are kings and children of the Most High God. Jesus did that for us when he came and surrendered himself on the cross and raised again to give us the victory. Lord, I just thank you so much for everything that you have done. I thank you, Lord, that you have made us part of your family. We are never going to be nobodies again. Lord, I thank you that we are part of that royal line. We are your children. And Lord, we just thank you for being so good to us. Let's just eat and drink together. <laughs>